It's time to wake up and become present to the current moment. What's in front of you right now? The life that you're living today, the moment that you are having currently, is so precious, so valuable, but easy to discard and to take your focus away from because you're either dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. Just consider how much thought power you're spending on the things that have already come and gone and on things that might never even come to pass. With so many of the clients that I've worked with, with myself and also with the people I love around me, I've seen this common pattern of projecting into a future that probably doesn't exist and might never exist because they're worried about how someone might perceive them. Maybe you're worried about what might happen or go wrong and how you're going to deal with it if it does. However, the truth of the matter is that the problem is best solved as it comes up. Now, of course, it's great to be ready and prepared, but chances are you're draining yourself more than you're helping yourself. It's so easy to fall into the trap of worrying way too much and regretting things that have already been done. The only thing that you can truly control is what you're doing right now, what you're thinking about, what actions you're taking, and also, largely, you can dictate how you are feeling in this moment, your state, your energy. And what's truly incredible is that if you focus all your resources and energy into this one thing, then the current moment becomes that much better, which results in a brighter future and an ease when it comes to letting go of the past. You see, this moment is really a gift and an opportunity to say goodbye to everything that's happened that you don't like, that you're not happy about, but also to take your energy and your focus away from what might come and to really zone in on you right now. Take a deep breath in for four seconds, Hold it for four seconds and then let go and push all the way out for four seconds. And start breathing normally again. Just for a moment, notice that you are alive. Feel the sensation in the tips of your fingers or how your breath comes and goes from the tip of your nose. What a beautiful experience it is to truly be here in the now. So many times it requires some type of extraordinary experience, something really wild to take you out of your head and bring you into what's happening right here, right now. What if you could do that for yourself and live your life in the state of presence instead of projection, in gratitude instead of regret, and in enjoyment and joy instead of this pleasure, this contentment, and finding and complaining about everything that's wrong. You know what's really incredible is that there's always something wrong. You can always find something to complain about. And so if you are, if you keep indulging in that pattern, it's because some part of you wants to feel this way. Confronting that might prove uncomfortable and it might make you feel a little bit like you're your own enemy. And to some degree that might be true, but you can also be your own best friend by liberating yourself. You have a choice. Are you going to find all the things that you don't like, that are wrong, that don't match your expectations? Or are you going to find all the things that you love, that you appreciate, and that really make you feel full of happiness? When you view it this way, you realize that true happiness, enjoyment, and having a good life it's less about what's happening externally and more about the interpretation that you're giving to the things that are happening in your life. You are your own narrator. If you say that this was a bad day for you, then guess what? It was. And if you decide that this was a learning opportunity or that this was an incredible experience that you gained a lot from, well, that changes everything. The perspective, the lens that you're viewing things through matters much more than the thing that you're actually viewing. And so when you combine all of this, when you put it all together, you snap yourself out of the past. You stop worrying about the future. You bring yourself into the moment that's happening right in front of you to truly take it in, to fully enjoy it. And you change the way that you perceive what's happening. You stop narrating it negatively. You get out of your own way and you start to really love your life. Hopefully, this really clicks for you and really improves your mindset over the long term. But if you want even more help, even more support, I'd love to talk to you personally. I invite you to jump on a one-on-one -on -one call with me if you'd like to consider being coached every week, being held accountable, pushed towards your goals and improving your life. 
then hop over to eraphael.com and over there you can book the one-on-one -on -one session with me. The link is in the description as well if you want to take advantage of it. As always, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you on the next one.